welcome. Welcome to Bay Focus. I'm so glad you're tuning in. Well, as always, we have some great guests today on the show. In just a few minutes, you're going to find out about an organization and a foundation that provides youth scholarships to so many young people to, to attend camps, college. Uh, what an incredible organization that you want to find out and hopefully uh, partner with as well. And then we're going to, now and then, I... I I like to feature churches. I like to feature pastors, what's going on. And today we're going to start with a brand new church. It's, it's young. It's not 100% you know, new, started last fall. But um, they are out in the Winter Haven area. And I want to say while I'm talking about this, I love hearing from some of our people out in Lakeland, Winter Haven, that direction, uh, because I want to hear what's going on. And we have a, a wonderful um, young pastor that w took his family and moved to Winter Haven and started Bridge Church. And his name is Pastor Dimitrik Phillips. Thank you for joining us Oh, today. thanks for having me here. It's thanks so great to have you. And um, I just have to say, we'll talk, if we have time, we'll talk about it more later. But, um, you know, we sh I found out we share a, a similar background in that we shared that we went to the same college, same university, which is the university <laughs> now, uh, Evangel University, a few decades apart. But other than that, <laughs> I want you to know he's much younger. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was a very accomplished athlete there at the university. But you know what, Pastor, let me first of all ask you, our viewers, where is Bridge Church? When are your service times? Tell us a little bit about the church. Yeah, so we launched Bridge Church in September uh, 2021. Yeah. So we're having our seventh month birthday uh, this Easter Sunday. Wow. And so we started there, uh, but now we meet, we meet in a, it's, a, it's called the, uh, the Historic Ritz Theater. It's right in the middle of downtown Winter Haven. Uh, it's a concert venue um, and we've been going there and it's, it's been going great. We're loving it. We love our community. We love Winter Haven. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's going And it's when going really do you, good. and I love this, the historic Ritz Theater, that is like such a draw yeah. for people. Um, and is it a cert, one service on Sundays or how are you doing it? Yeah, so one service on Sundays at 1030 a.m. Okay, one and then service. you meet and do different things throughout the week. And I, I love how you, you've actually had some things at a coffee shop too, right? Yeah. Tell it, that yeah. totally appeals to me, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> coffee, yes. Yeah, coffee so, and Jesus. Come coffee on, and Jesus. That, right? You can't get any better than that. Tell us what you do. Yeah, so so we have a heart like, you know, our, our, our what we say, our, our vision, our vision is let's live life connected with God, people, and generosity. Um, and one of the ways we feel like in our community and to get people praying, because we believe prayer is powerful uh, and we believe worship is powerful, um, and so what we do, we offer um, at, at uh, Haven Coffee Roasters right in the middle of downtown. Um, they're believers, and I, you know, I told them, hey, we, we should get together and do some worship and pray for our city. Um, and as people come by, they join in, yeah. and uh, we'll pay for free coffee or whatever. I love so, that. So, and, it, and it, makes it, uh, like, it makes it easy for other people that go to other churches or attend other churches um, for them to come and say, hey, this is not about you coming to our church. This is about us linking together as yeah. believers and praying for our city and praying for our leaders and believing for God's best to happen right here in Winter Haven. So, well, we you know, this is one week. thing, and, and I'm kind of doing the turbo version here because we have a lot of ground to cover. Uh, but you felt led to start this church, but but um, you um, have a heart, and I want to say this before we get into the history of how you started it. You have a heart for young people as a, and as an athlete yourself in the background and a musician. Yes, I am. And the arts and all these things that you are. Uh, why is that important? It's a big part of what you do. Yeah, so um, we have a, a big heart for young athletes uh, and artists. And the reason being is because if you think about it, uh, the clothes we wear, the slang language we use, the way we style our hair, um, you could say, oh, and everybody yeah. in the world yeah. would know where that came from. And yeah. it's come from artists and young athletes. And I feel like God has placed it on our hearts. Man, if we can reach these young athletes and artists now, because they shape culture, right? Yeah. Like our shoes, our clothing, yeah. um, they, it's, it's all birthed by young athletes and artists. And so God has given me a heart, man, if we can reach them now, 
yeah. uh, and, and, and instilling them the gospel and who Christ is. Yeah. Like we begin to change the whole scene. We begin to change Hollywood over years. We, yeah. It's like planting sequoia seeds now in these young I athletes. I love that. And young artists. Sequo I love that some, plant, sequoia seeds. Yeah. Let's show some pictures now. So you're going to show some of your of your church there. Um, before we get into a little bit more, because you have such a unique story how you started the church. But um, we're going to show some pictures and tell us what we're seeing. Yeah. So basically, this is uh, we're in a series called A Greater Reward. And we try to just make it where um, let people know, hey, there's something more to life than just what you're doing or what you're trying to gain for yourself. But everything is the greater reward for heaven and moving forward. Yeah. And these guys, some of these guys in this picture are some of the uh, athletes and musicians. Uh, Kayla, on, um, from, if you're looking at the screen, she's on the right. Uh, and the guy next to her, we've trained, man, pretty much all those guys in those pictures we trained in music. And now they're leading worship um, and playing for us now. But each one of them are from Hawaii, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and these, this here, they're very involved. Uh, the John family, they're very involved in our outreach um, helping us reach the people and do stuff in the community. Um, and so, yeah. And then these are some of our college students, um, the two young ladies in the middle, and then the young lady in the blue. She helps us out getting into the education scene because she works for Polk County. Uh, I don't want to give her direct mm -hmm. title, but she helps us, give us access to make a difference. This is another one of our college students who we're training in worship, uh, and she's doing a great job of leading worship uh, at the church okay. on Sunday mornings. And, and so, yeah, so, so this is some, some of the people just some more shots of the, of the service and, yes, and different things that happen in the service. All right, you've had, and we'll just finish out the pictures, so let, let them roll, but you, you had, um, this is the church plant, you had people come alongside you, but you came from Hawaii. Tell yes, us that story. Yeah, yeah, I came from, we were living in Hawaii, living yeah. in paradise, and uh, we knew God has called us to, to plant a church. Um, but I was just like, you know, God, I'm, I'm good with leading worship right where I'm at in Hawaii. Like, I get to go spear fishing two or three times a week and walk in the mountains. But on January 23rd, 2020, at 3.43 in the morning, uh, I heard the word bridge. And it woke me up, and I thought someone was in my family. So I walked around, and I was like, okay, nobody's up. The kids are asleep. So I went and lay back down. Um, then I heard the word bridge again, and I knew, okay, this is the Holy Spirit. This is God, like, I feel like speaking to me. Um, and so I got up, I got my phone out, and I started all right, God, what are you trying to say about this word bridge? Um, and then he told me, hey, you know what? You're going to be a bridge uh, to your local community, to your local education system. Um, you're going to be a bridge to the athletics there, to the art scene. Uh, you're going to be a bridge to local churches. And you're going to be a bridge to your local government in that area. And I'm like, God, that's awesome, but I don't know how that's going to happen, you know? And, yeah. and so from that, um, my wife and I, we started praying. Um, and then we went on a fast and we was like, all right, God, we got to do this. Um, how we're going to do it and where we're going to go to plant this church. And my wife, I asked her, I said, hey, Tish, if we can plant a church anywhere, where would you want to plant it? And she first said, believe it or not, she said Clearwater. Yeah. And I was like, why Clearwater? She's like, well, I know the kids like the beach and you like spearfishing and all that kind of stuff. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Um, I was like, well, let's keep thinking about it. And on February 1st, we were driving back from West Oahu. And it was like uh, I saw the words Winter Haven. And it's like a brand. You ever see the branding tools that they kind of brand yeah. cattle with? Yeah. Um, and it's like I saw these words Winter Haven and it was just like stamped on my chest and on my heart. And it was so real. And I looked down and Tish was like, boy, you OK? I was like, I was like, baby, we got to research Winter Haven. And yeah. so we started researching the area and found out that the sports um, and the uh, artists, um, it's like that scene is growing very much here in Winter Haven. And so we flew here, visited the area and, and fell in love with it. Well, you talk about around, you know, coming from the, uh, you know, the, the 50, well, I guess, you know, I don't know what, where Hawaii, uh, land. I don't think they were our 50th state, but Alaska. Uh, but I mean, you know, going, going a, a long distance, but you did have a history growing up in Orlando area. Yes, so it's full circle coming back. God's led you back. Yeah. Um, and I just, I, I am, one of the things that drew me to this ministry and to your ministry was your heart for, for young people. So I have to put out there so that if this is a draw to people, you still have some records at Evangel University. <laughs> Football, what did yes, you, you play? Tell us your position. Yeah, so I, I played tailback, running back. And yeah. Then, yeah hold you were up. all American. Yes, ma'am. And yes, ma had, could have gone. Yeah, I, I was the, with the Bengals and then I blew my shoulder out yeah. and had a total shoulder replacement. So yeah. that ended my 
it NFL. ended it, but but it gave you such a great background. Yes, ma'am. Um, training and something to that to talk about with yeah. young people and athletes and, and connect with them. Um, all right, I want to um, say again, and again, this is the, the shorter version. We're gonna have you back um, at another time where we share your full testimony. Uh, you will be so um, inspired to hear this on how God took you and led you um, and totally transformed your life and how you now are in ministry. Yes, ma'am. Um, how you even ended up being scholarshiped, going to, to college. Um, so it, you're, you're an absolute story of transformation. Um, what would you tell our viewers the best way to connect with them? And, and what would you say that if they come to your church and walk through the door, that they will feel when they come? Yeah, so the best way to connect with us is you can visit our website, yeah. uh, www.bridgewh.com, or follow us on social media. Yeah. Um, that's Bridge Church WH. Um, but I would say if you came to our church and you walked in the doors, one, you're going to feel celebrated. Uh, we want people to feel like, hey, you're, you're the best thing God ever made, right? Um, and then you're also going to feel impelled to, to use the gifts that God has given you um, because, you know, he's given us these gifts not for ourselves, but to reach the people that's in our sphere of influence. Um, and that's the heartbeat of our church, to live life connected with God, people, yeah. and irrational generosity. Um, so if yeah. they came, that's that's what, what they would leave with, the okay. gospel and knowing that they're celebrated. And then if you want to give a shout out here, you had some ministries come alongside you and help you plant. Yeah, so I had a Lifehouse Church up in uh, Maryland, mm -hmm. um, Virginia, and then um, Destination Church and Clover Hill Church. They if it had not been for those guys coming alongside of us, we, we would be, yeah. it would be a little tougher to do what we're doing now yeah. and reaching those young athletes and artists. You know, it takes people and ministries that have a heart for church planting, yeah. um, you know, to come alongside a young man like you and do this. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm going to wrap this this up now because I think we've gotten to a point where we, we just want to encourage people to go to your church, support it. Yes, um, and, and just, even if they go to the, um, to when you do the coffee, you know, yeah, um, every first coffee Wednesday. shop night. Yeah, everybody come together if you're living in the Winter Haven area. Thank you so much hey, for no coming on and sharing. Me. We're going to have you back. But um, wow, if you're in the Winter Haven area, um, out that direction or all points, you know, we were, we were talking a few minutes ago how so many people are commuting distances now to, uh, for work. You can, you know, work in Tampa, live in Winter Haven. It's literally happening. So, you know, Orlando, whenever if all points around and you're looking for a dynamic church, that is meeting at the Ritz, Ritz Theater. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Uh, you wanna check out Bridge Church and we'll be right back with more Faith Focus. back and we have a great organization to tell you about and it's got one of the most unique names that we've ever had here on Bay Focus and it's an educational foundation called O to Be Fun. I love that. Uh, you know, it's names like that that actually get you on Bay Focus. <laughs> I love it. I O to Be Fun. Who doesn't want that? Uh, we have the founder Founder of this organization, Brenda Giannakos, yes. with us. Thank you. And she brought her lovely daughter-in-law, which she calls her daughter in love, as many of you do out there as well. Katie Pleasant, who is a registered nurse RN, and also very active with O to Be Fun as well. Thank you both for coming on today. Thank you for having and, us. All right, for right out of the gate, uh, Brenda, I have to ask, 
what start with what is O to be fun, but where did that name come from? I have kind of a warped sense of humor. <laughs> People that know me know that. I do crazy things. But I just, growing up, I was raised in church. Yeah. And I just wanted to make sure that the world knew that not because you're religious or a believer, that you can't have fun. So my goal in life has always been to make things fun. So O to be fun, here we are. I love that. Thank you. I love that. I, I think that's a very positive message. Very uplifting. Um, all right, you are a, a a foundation, educational foundation. What do you actually do? Tell, tell our viewers. We provide educational scholarships for Tampa Bay needy kids. We have four different types of scholarships. Um, we do summer camps. We do technical. We do college book scholarships in college. And we, our mission is to provide, to educate, equip, and empower all students without respect to race, creed, color, ethnicity, beliefs, handicaps, sexual orientation, and any other yeah. thing like that, to be all inclusive. My yeah. goal is to keep kids in the state of Florida. Yeah, and so you want to, you, you want to um, make sure that these children have uh, and I'm saying children, you're all different ages. What, what are they, what, how, what are the age spread that you're doing this? We should do fifth grade through college. Through college, fifth grade, <laughs> fifth grade through college. Okay. Um, all right. And then we'll, we're going to talk a little bit more about um, this in just a moment, but I want to get our viewers connected with Katie too. So Katie, what is your role in this? And obviously you are married to Brenda's son. Um, so I'm sure this is a family affair that Brenda has brought you alongside. Um, but tell, tell us your role and what this organization means to you. Okay. Um, well, I started with volunteering for the events that we've held through the years. Um, over the past few years, I've been promoted to volunteer coordinator and helping to moderate the events that we have. Um, kind of facilitating with the speakers and making sure that the event goes smoothly, handing out awards. Um, I really enjoy being part of this foundation. Uh, to, I have two kids myself, and I know that we're very blessed and fortunate, but there are a lot of families that maybe it takes a village to come alongside these kids yeah. and to give them the opportunities to be the successful adults and the successful members of society that we know they can be. They just need somebody to come along, encourage them, and give them a chance. Yeah. Well, you know, um, one of the things that we've been clear about this from the beginning, this is a this is a foundation open to everybody, open to every. But Brenda is a longtime um, volunteer here at CTN, and she's a current prayer partner and prays with people on the phone and uh, committed Christian and and. Um, tell us, um, Brenda, um, how this plays into, how a, a faith-based element is there, even though the foundation is not in itself. You have people working with you. I have a board of directors that are all believers, very active yeah. in their churches. They all have full-time jobs. And our, our just mission, like Katie had just said, is just to come along and help to help people no matter what their beliefs or non-beliefs yeah, are. Right. And hopefully they will see the light of Jesus in us. You never know. Plant yep. that seed, somebody yep. else will water it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's. Um, I have a term I use for that, stealth evangelism. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, you don't always do typical uh, holding, you know, meetings, camp meetings or church services. You're doing your inner interacting within people's daily lives. You've alluded to it, you both mentioned this, but I don't think our viewers know what you're talking about when you're saying events. Tell us what your events are. Uh, well, annually we hold our rooftop charity event in the springtime. That mm -hmm. is the signature event for O to be Fun. Um, there's live auction at times, silent auction over the past few years, entertainment, um, food, and just an opportunity to network and to see um, what kind of fundraising we can draw in for these for these students in our area. Um, there's also the Red, White, and Jazzy Blues event, which occurs in the fall, and that also involves auction items, um, jazz and blues music. It's kind of an outdoor event, just a family-friendly event that, that everybody can attend. So. Yeah, I love that. Now you have um, um, scholarship um, information for us too. Um, how many scholarships, um, you've been going since 2013? 
right? 2014. 2014. So what it, give us a rundown. How many scholarships, summer camps, tech, you know, all of that. Do you have any overall figures or estimates of how, how much you guys have done? Yes, we actually, when we sat down and looked at it, it turned out we had 188 scholarships that we've handed out. Wow. Um, 119 were for camp, camps in the area. Um, 12 were for books, mm -hmm. 18 technical scholarships for certificate programs, automotive, um, hairdressing, things like that. Um, and then the remainder, 39, were for college scholarships for funds to help pay college tuition. Okay, and, and this, this is funded through these events, or how is it funded? It's strictly through the money we raise at our events and because of our corporate sponsors. Because every penny we raise goes right back out to the kids. We do not have a building, we don't have utilities, we don't take gas allowance. Every penny we raise goes to the kids because that was our heart when we started this. Yeah. All right, so tell us tell us what the impact has been a little bit with uh, on us and young people. Paint us a picture of some of the kids you've helped. Um, how do you find out how their experience was um, at these camps or, or at college or um, what has been the real life experience with some of these uh, young people? We always at our rooftop event, which is our signature event, like Katie said, we always have a couple of the parents or the kids come and give their little testimonials so our attendees can yeah. see and know. But we also, at the end of their camp experience or after they've gotten their degree for a hair stylist or whatever, or even college, we ask them to give us a little synopsis. Um, we only use their first name and what county they're from, where you use the funds and what it meant to you. And I'm going to cry, Darlene, it's so I'm okay. not going to say a lot, but it's, it's heartwarming to see that these kids who may not have had the opportunity yeah. or because of single mother or because mom and dad both work, but they fall in the gap, how mm -hmm. this helped them to make themselves better, to bring themselves up and to see later down the road how they give back to the community, mm -hmm. how they work. Because yeah. I'm thinking of like one of our very first we call it the Shep Award, which is the Tech Award. Um, got his scholarship, went to automotive school, um, didn't know that he and his parents would be able to send him, but now he is a teacher at P Tech. Wow. And it's just so incredible to see that and think what little bit we had to help. And it's not just me, it's everybody. It's my lovely family. It is all the supporters, it's all the help. I always say, like Katie said, it takes a village. I can never do it by myself. This was just my dream, my vision, my heart that God gave me. And I'm just grateful to the board, to family, to anybody that's even attended or purchased one auction item because you guys made it possible for this to happen. You know, Brenda, I, I have to say, um, and, and Katie, I know you would, you would agree, this is such an incredible example of one person Mm -hmm. having a vision and a heart for kids. One person can do, and seeing a vision and a dream to, to completion and fruition, and it's ongoing. So which brings me to my next question. Um, um, how can our viewers help with this? What, what are things that, the, that this foundation needs, maybe year round or, the, or what they can do to partner with you, um, you know, to, to become involved? Um, I would say follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all under the account name Oda B. Fun, Inc. Incorporated. Um, we also have a website, odabfun.com. Uh, people can check in. Um, we accept donations year round for these scholarships. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. um, as well as by following us on social media, you'll be in the know of what events we're having, what kind of maybe excess fundraisers that we're doing we can also check in and share how people are using these scholarships that we're providing and how it's helping them to yeah. achieve their educational goals, yeah. um, as well as buying tickets to our events. So yeah. that would yeah, all be on the website. What about if somebody's watching and they know of someone that they think might qualify or have a need to be, to be looked at? What's the process if, if they know of a young person that could possibly be the recipient of, of a, a scholarship. How do you determine that? Who qualifies? You can go to our website, odabfund.com. Um, under the scholarship 
All of the scholarships are up there. We put them up January of each year. They're there through May 1st. And June 1st, we award the scholarships. Um, last year, we had over 8,000 scholarships. Wow. Um, so we have two silent partners that look at it, pray over it because they're believers. Yeah. Um, from there, it comes down to like 200 and then the board and I go through it. Okay. Um, and it's just apply, apply, apply. You can't, I always say people can't say N-O until they K-N-O-W the need. Yeah. And my heart is basically for the need. So go online on our website, go under scholarships tab and you'll see all the scholarships that okay. are available. Okay, so they can go through that. They can apply as well for the scholarships there. All right, I wanna thank you both so much for coming on today and sharing your heart. And um, this is just so incredible. If you're watching, um, you know, there's just young people who would never have these opportunities if it weren't for O to be fun. Um, so I hope you'll support them. You'll get connected, check them out, all the different ways they told you. And we will be right back with more Faith Focus. Well, we've shown you two groups today, Bridge Church in Winter Haven, or if you're looking for a church in that area, that'd be a great one to go to. And then also the Educational Scholarship Foundation, O to be Fun. Uh, if you can connect with them, that would be great as well. I want to say one thing, closing out the show today, we have a new station added to our list of stations at CTN now. Um, we have many, you can go to our website and find it, but here on the Central Florida area, I want to welcome Citrus County, who's going to be watching our programming here on Channel 22 in Tampa Bay. That's Lacanto, Homosassa Springs, Crystal River, Inverness, Donellan, Inglis, Hernando communities. Wow, we want to welcome you, and I want to hear from you. Contact through the website, you can contact Bay Focus or on through social media as well, Facebook, YouTube. And let me know what's going on in your area. Um, and we would love to highlight and promote some of those events and things, ministries, uh, organizations in that area. So welcome, welcome. I hope you'll tune into Bay Focus each week. And I wanna thank all of the viewers, all of you, and the same thing. Keep me posted on what's going on here in this greater central Florida area. Uh, we want to partner with you. Thank you for tuning in this week. I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next week. May God richly, richly bless you.